we're going to calculate the number of electrons in a penny, a one cent coin in the United States. This penny is, uh, let's say, has a mass of 2.8 grams. It's electrically neutral and the it's pure copper. We'll ignore any alloy effect, but just say it's pure copper. And uh, let's say it just has the isotope of copper where the nucleus has 34 neutrons. If you would look in a periodic table, you would find that copper has 29 neutrons, 29 protons. So that's the element copper, 29 protons in this isotope, 34 neutrons. Um, the basic uh, pattern we'll use here is that the copper is electrical neutral, so the atoms are. So 29 protons, each atom has 29 electrons. So what's the missing information if we need to calculate the total number of electrons in the penny? We need a count of the number of copper atoms in the penny. And we can do that using the mass of the penny and Avogadro's number. That will help us uh, find it. And also, how many grams per mole for the copper. Well, let's work on the grams per mole. This is a little bit approximate, but uh, pretty close. We can take advantage that there are 29 protons in the nucleus and 34 neutrons. If I would add those together, I get an atomic mass number of 63. 29 protons, 34 neutrons. So atomic mass number of 63. And this, pretty close, means that there are 63 grams per mole. 63 grams per mole. That's going to be our conversion factor. So let's do a, a conversion. The uh, penny has a mass of 2.8 grams. And I'm going to divide that by 1. And the conversion factor I'm going to use is that there is 1 mole for 63 grams. The grams units will cancel and I'll have the number of moles. And then we know how many atoms are in a mole using Avogadro's number. And Avogadro's number tells us that in one mole of atoms, there'll be 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Gets us a mole. So the moles have canceled. And now we can multiply this out, and we'll have the number of atoms. And that rounded off is 2.68 times 10 to the 22nd atoms. 2.68 times 10 to the 22nd atoms. The last step is to uh, start with the number of atoms. And use, in a sense, a conversion factor in that there are 29 electrons in each atom of copper. And multiplying that out, we get, and again, we're going to round here, 7.8 times 10 to the 23rd electrons. This is a huge number, a huge number. If you have access to a penny, pull it out, look at it. Your penny won't be a lot different than 2.8 grams. It, there was a change in the uh, manufacturing of pennies. I think it was 1982. But uh, it'll be roughly 2.8 grams. And you're looking, you can't see them with your eye, but inside that object you're holding, 7.8 times 10 to the 23rd electrons. That's a huge number. And it really is difficult to tell if uh, there's one extra electron or short one electron. Um, but there are huge numbers of electrons in common objects is the point of this calculation. And uh, electrical effects involve large numbers of electrons being moved from one place to another. Uh, so enough on that. 7.8 times 10 to the 23rd electrons in a P.
penny that has a mass of exactly 2.8 grams. So keep practicing on your own.